Welcome back to the PlayStation 3 jailbreak tutorial. This is the second episode and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to format your hard drive to, for, to FAT32 so you can put your games on it and play it externally uh, just like this. As you can see this hard drive is connected and all these games are on my external hard drive. Yeah, If you like information like this and you like the PlayStation 3 jailbreak information make sure you subscribe because there are new episodes coming out and if you have any questions or comments just write it down in the comments below and I'll make sure I'll cover them in the next video I'll make. Now let's go to the computer to set up this hard drive and see how we can put the games on it. Let's go! Okay, now we have plugged in our hard drive. In this case it is my local disk G. Yeah, And the first thing that we need to do is format it to FAT32. Now, if you go to property, if you press format you will see that you won't have uh, you won't have the option to format it to fat32 only xfat and ntfs so we need to download a separate application to do this and the application that we are going to download in this case is this mini tool part the mini tool partition with it yeah this is a free program a free application uh, when you you just press here download and you download the free edition and you install it while installing it make sure you don't press the free trial that you press the free edition and you download that program okay once this program is downloaded you can open it up and when you scroll you see your drive now in my case my drive is already formatted to fit 32 but i'll do it again to show you how so my drive is disk 7, we press the, uh, you make sure, first of all, if you have different partitions that you delete all of them until you have one partition or one unlocated partition, you can delete them like this, right button, delete, now I have one unallocated space, yeah, now I press uh, create, no, you want to create, before this, we're going to press apply because you need to press apply to apply the changes you made. That's important. <laughs> okay. Now we have to scroll down again and now we can do create. And here we have a partition label, we will call it PS3 drive 2. It has to be primary and the file system FAT32 yeah we're gonna write the PS3 again FAT32 that's very important and now you write you press OK once you've pressed OK you see here on your left it's ready you have to press apply applied the changes successfully and now when you scroll down you see FAT32 and it's empty now there's one important point here it has to be MBR not GPT if it is uh, GPT you press on the right and you can convert MBR to GPT and GPT to MBR and you can rebuild your MBR this is important even if you format it to FAT32 if it's not on MBR it, uh, your PlayStation will not read it okay so that's one important thing now our drive is formatted we can exit this program we don't need this anymore now we are going to our drive and we are going to prepare a folder called games and we're going to write it in capital letters like this games okay so our drive is formatted and our folder for the games is ready now we are going to this website, ROMSFUN. At ROMSFUN.com you can find different ROMs for all the different uh, uh, emulators or old school consoles that uh, exist. In my case, we are looking for a PlayStation 3 ROM. Um, let's check a game that I already own. For example, a Naruto Storm Revolution. Then you press on it. Here you press download now. And then you can choose your version. In my case, I'll choose the European version. And then you'll just have to wait like a couple seconds for it to prepare your link. 
just like this. And once uh, your link uh, here is ready, you can press on the link and download it just like this. So you press download and then it will start download and you choose your map where you want to save it. In my case, I already downloaded it. Okay, once your download is finished, you will have a folder like this. This folder you need to unzip. Okay, once you, once you, unzip, this, once you unzip this folder, you will get this one. And you open it up and this file you will have to unzip again. When you unzip this file and you open this, you see you have game and update. Okay, now this map, after you've unzipped it twice, this map is the one we are going to put in our games folder. Okay, once we've put the map in our games folder and the transfer is finished, then we can go back to our PlayStation, plug it in and uh, see if it, uh, everything is alright and start using the game. And just like this, even if you download like 10 or 20 games, you do the same process. You download them, all the games that you have and you want to back up, you download them. And then uh, you unzip them, you, uh, or uh, yes, you unpack them, and then you put them in the games folder. <clears throat> Make sure the games folder is written in capital letters exactly like this, like you see right here, okay? So, I'm gonna skip this part, let's go back to the PlayStation and test it out. Okay, so we have our hard drive right here, let's plug it in. And now, if we check here, we press refresh, and as you can see, the hard drive is right here. And if we go to games, voila, Naruto Storm Revolution is uh, on the console from our hard drive. And now if we press on the game, we can start the game. Um, as you know, you press on the game, it will load it up, so it will load it up as if it was a CD, and then we can start playing just like we would play any other game as you can see voila it's right here so now we can press on it and we can start playing the game i hope you like this tutorial and i hope you like this series if you're interested in more information about jailbreaking your playstation 3 and everything that uh, comes around it just subscribe to the channel there's another episode coming out soon and if you have any questions write it down in the comments so i can cover it in the next episodes thank you very much this was review chains see you in the next one